Grade 5 math number 8.2. Problem solving, draw a diagram and multiply to divide fractions. Choosing a strategy to do a word problem, we can act it out. We can draw a diagram or a number line, which is what we're going to try this time. We can make a table or a chart. We can break it into simpler problems, or we can guess and check and revise our guess. So we're going to do word problems, and we're going to draw a diagram, and we're going to use multiplication to help us divide. Emma bought four pizzas, and she cut each pizza into eighths. How many eighth slices of pizza is there? So here's our four pizzas. They're cut into slices of eight. So we have four divided by one eighth. We draw the four circles. We divide them into eight. We multiply four times the eight slices, and we get 32. So by multiplying and drawing the diagram, we can very easily see that 4 divided into eighths is 32. Wasn't that easy? Now Bob cut two lemon pies, each into thirds, to share with his friends. Bob's not getting any. These are just for his friends. How many friends will get a one-third sliced piece of the lemon pie? It's very easy to see that there's six pieces. So six friends will get a piece of pie, big piece of pie. 2 divided by 1 third is 6. See? 2 times 3 is 6. Wasn't that easy? So draw, the drawing made it easier for us to write this multiplication equation. All right? Tala had 9 feet of ribbon that she cut into ninths. Then she cut each 1 ninth piece into 4 pieces. How many inches long is each piece? This is so much easier than it sounds. By doing the drawing, it's going to be really simple. She had nine feet of ribbon that she cut into ninths. So that means if it was nine feet, she cut them each into a one-foot piece. There's nine one-foot pieces. She cut each of those one-foot pieces into four pieces. Well, we know there's 12 inches in a foot. So if she cut each of them into four pieces, three times four is 12. So there's three inches each. Each piece of ribbon is three inches long. See? So easy when you draw a diagram. So that's how we multiplied and drew the diagram to divide the fractions. Okay, see you next video. Bye.